and welcome along to Northern Farms. The grass has regrown in field 9 and cutting now will give us a chance to get a third set of bales before the end of the year. However, the Massey is also in need of inspection and repair. Will we be able to complete the job? Let's get farming. So my plans have changed a little bit from the previous day. I was originally going to try and take on an oak contract. But uh, a few things have come up. The first one, of course, being that we have grass ready to cut here. And cutting in August means that it should fully regrow by November. And uh, we'll be able to then get a, another set of bales off it before the end of the year. I think another set of hay bales off it before the end of the year should be great. So uh, we're going to give that a try. Uh, the problem we got at the moment, though, is this tractor. Currently... Uh, it requires an inspection. It's got four damages. And there's the distinct possibility that it might not make it to the end of the field. So very much hoping right now that we'll be all right. Uh, but we'll see whether it, it works and keeps going. Uh, it has cut out on me three or four times already just getting to the field. So uh, if we nurse it carefully, it might make it to the end of it. Uh, and then we can get it over to the shed and get it inspected and start looking at getting it repaired as well, uh, which would be really good. Uh, thankfully, uh, we don't need this track to do the carrots. Uh, the carrots are actually already ready to be harvested. And I would have started those today if we didn't have... Uh, this field to get bailed up and get some more hay. Uh, so we're going to probably end up using the Vultra for that job. Uh, it doesn't require a huge amount of power to, uh, to run our carrot harvester, so we should be all right. As a result, I honestly don't think we're going to be able to get at a contract for the oats over on uh, the field over there that we were talking about. I think that's field 11. So uh, that's not going to happen, I don't think, this year. Uh, the carrots are worth far more than that contract ever can be anyway. So uh, it makes sense for us, really, to concentrate on what is already on our farm and not worry too much about uh, what's going on in the rest of the area uh we we really just want to get our own crops up and then if we have time we can concentrate on some others so like with the previous time we cut this field we are going to do four headlands on here that should be enough to uh, give us enough space to turn around with the baler uh, because the massey is well in not great shape uh, we're going to get the Vulture on the baler as well today. So with any luck, that should all work fine. I'm a little bit worried, actually, about all of our equipment. I didn't get to do the repair work that I was planning to do over the uh, months we had off. So <laughs> everything, I think, is probably in need of an inspection. I think this is probably the most damaged piece of equipment, though. We use the, the Massey a lot. And as a result, it tends to uh, get the most wear over the year. Uh, the Vultra is used more heavily at this time of year because it's used for carting and, uh, and, and things like that. So uh, as a result, I'm not expecting that to have as much damage on it. Uh, similarly with the Telehandler, the Telehandler doesn't get used that much either. So... Yeah, this is probably our worst condition piece of kit at the moment. And uh, as a result, I think it's probably going to be out of action for most of, if not all of, the month of September. Once we got this fourth headland done, we will use this angle here, this length here, to do the, uh, to, to do the runs up and down the field. That will work out fairly well for us because they're nice long rows and uh, means we can bail them up much more easily. So uh, this is our fourth row into here. And I think that the color of the yield on our yield map is a little bit darker. Uh, I think we've got a, a bit of a boost in the actual yield on here. And this is 
Uh, mainly because we went and put a load of the spare fertilizer on here. And as a result, we ended up with a slightly boosted uh, yield on it. And that is going to be really cool because we weren't that far off a seventh bale last time. With any luck, we'll uh, beat the best number we had. I think there are a few things we can probably do to boost the yield even further. Uh, if we run a weeder over here, we definitely will improve our environmental score. Uh, it might not boost the actual yield, but certainly the environmental score should go up. Uh, if we do maybe some mulching if we can clear this field off today as well uh we might be able to get uh it mulched too and then uh that will boost things uh, i'm loath to plow this all up i know that this field does need plowing but to be honest i don't think that makes a big difference to the grass so yeah i think i think our best bet is probably to try and mulch this and see if that works I'm slightly surprised my tractor's holding up really well it's not stalled at all during this job i was uh, i was worried it was going to be much worse than it is uh, there's still time of course for it to stall out while we're doing this um but considering how much trouble i had getting it going in the first place today uh, it could have been so much worse uh, with four damages on here already I do wonder how much we're going to find once we've got it inspected. But uh, it might not be that bad. We might only uncover a couple. The fact that it's stalling, though, really does suggest to me that it's uh, that it's in a bad shape and is going to be out of action for a while, as I said earlier. Uh, so we'll just see how things go. Be careful not to go too fast. Otherwise, we're going to leave patches like that. That's not so bad so long as we uh, don't start a bale with it, I don't think. But, uh, yeah, this has um, gone fairly well. This tractor is holding up. We've managed to nurse it through the field. And uh, I would have used the Vulture for this if it had the front PTO, but, of course, it doesn't. So uh, that's why we've had to use the Massey, even though it's in bad shape. Uh, but it'll be all right. I've got a little bit of follow-up to do with a couple of points. I want to get uh, those two bits of grass there that haven't been tethered yet done. So we'll uh, we'll get them just tethered quickly when we finish this. At the moment, there's not a huge amount of this left. I think the small triangle, we should be able to just position ourselves and get the whole thing in in one go. Yep, that is going to go completely into my mower. And then we'll lift all this up. And we'll just go and get these bits of grass here. Make sure they get uh, tethered. And this one down here. And then that will be a nicely done field. And yeah, that is definitely a much deeper orange. Than we had on the field last time uh, i think we're gonna be good for uh, getting an extra bale or two out of this field so our workshop is over here in the cow yard in the little shed at the end here so just stop this here open up and then we should be able to get the inspection going so open that up and we will start inspection should be finished at 20 past 11 so yes let's get that started and that tractor is now not usable for an hour that's okay though because we have an alternative sitting in the barn just here our vulture valmet this is currently also requiring an inspection so once we start collecting up bales later in the day i think we want to get this inspected the fact that it immediately started up, though, suggests to me that it's not too bad. It's only got a single damage that we know of. Uh, it's possible that there is one or two more. So we'll get it inspected and check it, check it out today. Uh, that way we can uh, repair it as soon as 
uh, we're able. Let's reset the bail counter. Because we keep forgetting to do this. So bail counter is reset. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a massive problem today, though, because, well, we're only going to get six or seven bales off this field. We'll start up the baler, line ourselves up, and, yeah, let's see how many we get off this headland to start with. This bodes really well. We are coming to the end of the third row, and at this point, we're looking at getting the fourth bale out. That is uh, really good. It's not going to be far along this row here that we get it. In fact, that should just about do it there. And so, yeah, that's four bales off three headlands. Uh, I think we could very much get a fifth bale off this headland. And uh, that would make a big difference. That There's definitely two bales worth uh, in the rows on the field itself. And uh, as a result, this yield is looking much better than it did uh, the last time we cut this field. Amazing the difference that putting a little bit of extra nitrogen, not much, uh, just a little bit of nitrogen on this field has made. End of the fourth row. And yeah, look at that. 95% full. Won't take much to get our fifth bale for this field off here and gonna be off there no not quite i'm gonna try and do alternate rows here can be quite a difficult turn sometimes but uh no nope, that's doing all right and there we go 100 percent. that is the fifth bale and we still have most of the middle of this field to go bale number six and there we go. That is as many bales off this field as we have got off it last time with, yeah, most of it left to go. Uh, I'm really pleased with that. That absolutely made sense to go and put a little bit of fertilizer on here then because uh, we're going to get seven bales out of it. That means we could get 14 bales off off this field between now and the end of the year um which is a fantastic number uh that will stock us up completely for hay bales uh going into the winter and uh, and give us a really good base for our animals and means that next year we could actually probably get away with doing at least one lot of silage bales uh if not uh, we we could we just keep making hay bales and saving ourselves some money because uh, we discovered of course that selling silage bales we only ever get as much as we would pay for a hay bale so we might as well just make our own hay bales it's cheaper and this will be our seventh bale there we go so that is an entire extra bale off here looks like we're gonna get a little bit more uh, we've got a couple of rows to go. I actually left a small pile of hay there that will come back and get in a moment. Uh, yeah, there's only two rows to go here. There is not a full baler's worth in here. Uh, how much there is, though, is going to be interesting. That's 15%. Yeah, I think this would have finished another bale if we had waited a little bit and hadn't uh, gone and uh, bailed up the straw because there we are 21% yeah we would have we would have got another bale off here if we hadn't used the uh, the hay that we got previously to make that first straw bale on the uh, on the barley field never mind Right, what we want to do now then is uh, go and see how our tractor is doing, how the Massey is doing, how much damage it has, and uh, give this one a scan, I think, because if we can take this one out of action for a short period of time, uh, it would be much better, and then we'll be able to use it next time for the carrots. Or we inspect it now and then repair the damages to it once the carrot harvest is done. So let's see what the damage is on the Massey. Just pull in here for now. It's actually four more damages. So we've got an eight in total. Uh, we are going to have to repair this. 
it's yeah it's struggling to start at the moment i'm going to move it out the way it's going to be out of action a little while this tractor bring it just around here don't need it really anywhere else for now we'll get this into position and uh, and get it inspected only has the single damage at the moment so uh, hopefully that won't go up too much uh, but this should be ready then by mid-afternoon and possibly repaired by tomorrow. So we'll start the inspection on that. That will be finished at 10 to 2. And we can pop in here and grab our Merlot with the bell spikes on it. That currently has two damages and also requires an inspection. If we're going to be using this and the Vultra for the carrot harvest tomorrow, we really want both of them inspected and in tip-top condition we also need to get some fuel into this so let's just pull up to here stop that and refuel it today is turning out to be quite efficient i'm i'm pleased with how it's going all right we want to try and take these as stacks of three so first one in that I think my bail spikes are pointing slightly upward. That's all right. So we'll uh, we'll get these in two goes. Uh, where's that bail I saw? There it is. So bring this around here. Now, this is something that people suggested I do in a previous series. Not just carry two uh, with me, but instead go and carry three. Gonna push, that's going to push that sideways. Can be difficult to see in here. I want to get the actually easiest way to do it is to go right. I want to get the bale to the side of that spike. Use that spike as my middle. Too much on the ground. There we go. Uh, and there in. Right, there we go. Those are two right next to each other. You then come here and drop that there. Back out of those. Grab the third one. With the middle... Uh, it lined up on the middle spike. There we are. Put this on top and then we can take a stack of three and immediately have them stacked in the shed. Uh, which works... So well to stack things up quickly doesn't work quite so well when you're stacking on a trailer but uh yeah stacking in a shed uh this works pretty well i find and then we just line up the middle one line up the height on the outer spike line up position on the middle spike and we got a stack there we go right let's get these over to the animal yard transporting these this way saves on time considerably it's pretty stable there's there's not a huge amount of uh, stability issues with it uh, and it uh, allows you to get over here a bit quicker you can line up on this shed and then down i'm gonna put it quite there that's not quite straight you want to be there there we go that's much better drop those there back on out and yeah now we only have to do two more trips i have noticed that my merlot is smoking a little bit there's a fair amount of black smoke that's coming out of it at times and we want to get this repaired it's going to be it's going to be the vulture and this that we're trying to use for the carrots if we can get a hired worker working on the carrots next time uh, which should only be interrupted to refill the box every so often or replace the box every so often uh, we should then be able to keep things going and uh, and speed things up on our carrot harvest uh, we'll see how it actually works i don't think there's any way of automating the purchase of the boxes unfortunately so it's basically run the hired worker until it fills the box uh, then uh, empty the box off on the field uh, Put a new box on and get the hired worker uh, going again 
Uh, in the meantime, we will pick up the box with Telehandler, get it off the field, and uh, and see if that works and see if we can keep things flowing that way. Second lot of bales into the shed. Line it up. And drop it down. And in. I think I'm a little bit over to the left. Or to the right, I should say, actually. And there we go. So much better now that we've got a good storage space in here. You can see why we don't actually need any straw bales. We have more than enough to keep our cows going. So uh, I'm not going to worry about that. What I do need to do now is hook up to the trailer, uh, get that into the field and start collecting up these straw bales. We want to try and make some money off them. And oh, the Valtra actually should be ready for us to check. So uh, we'll come back and check that and see how long it might take to get the damages on it repaired. Um, because if it's only going to be a few hours, uh, we might be able to get it to do it in time to start the carrots the next day and cart our bales today. Last bale in. Stop this here. And let's have a look at this. Two more damages for a total of three. So if we take it to repair this, it will finish repairing today. This does confirm to me, though, that the Massey is going to be completely out of action until uh, tomorrow. So we'll repair the damages on this. Yes. And uh, that now is going to sit there until the end of the day. And uh, we'll have to cart stuff. We'll have to use the trailer with the Merlot here. Uh, not the end of the world. Um, and uh, yeah, if we inspect this today, I think it will still be okay for us to do the carrot harvest with it. Don't know how many of these bales we'll be able to get on this trailer. Quite a full field that we've got. Uh, we'll put the trailer in the middle though. And that'll be a good position. Disconnect it. And then uh, we want to really start at the farthest edges, uh, grab two bales at a time and get loading them up. I'm placing them on here this time uh, with a little bit of a gap towards the end because we know that we can't fit them all on. We want to be a little bit careful pulling off here because it is now a little bit heavy on the back. So need to be really careful with no tractor on the front. Uh, loading the back bit like this is a little bit scary, but we're loading now over the wheels. So that shouldn't be a huge issue. And uh, yeah, time to head over this side of the field towards the middle and see if we can grab a couple more. And I'm kind of wondering what that great demand is for. Looking on here, seeing if anything is above best price. No, no, it would be really good if it was straw, but no, even that's below. So yeah, not really anything by the looks of things at uh, any of the sell points. So nope, we'll just continue loading these up. So I've managed to get 12 bales on the bottom row here. Not quite on that. Let's down a little bit harder on that and no oh always hate it when one of the bales doesn't disconnect and yeah that then causes us all sorts of problems uh but yeah 12 bales in total uh on these uh that means that uh we should be able to get 14 bales on the top and think that we've got more than 14 bales left on this field though so it's going to be more than one load to get these uh, we should be able to fit one on the front there i think uh, even with that slightly moved bale there and so uh yeah actually now it'd be 16 are there so only 16 bales there might only be 16 bales left on this field so first two on this level above the wheels to balance things up a little bit. And uh, then that will give us a good amount to work with. 
a good amount of space to work with. And just trying to keep things nicely balanced. So the next four will have to go slightly further forward, I think. We might actually fit all of these bales on this trailer. It's it's quite amazing. Suddenly, the field itself does not have many bales left. Uh, we've got one left up there. We've got one in front of me there. So it's two, three with on here, four five six seven eight and if we're left with less than six bales which we're gonna be uh that won't fit on the trailer either a we can see if we can fit them on the top of the trailer which might be possible especially with this telehandler or b we might just go and put them in our shed and uh, and top up our bales a little bit um but to be honest we've got eight bales left we're going to fit, by the looks of it, four on the back here, or eight on the back here. No, four on the back here. Yeah, and oh, I need to let that one drop down, right? And then on the top, down. Come on, come off. There we go. And that will sit on the back there on the ladder. Uh, we should get the same thing with another two bales on the other side so that's four of our eight and i think we can fit four on the front as well so that is uh is all gonna play pretty well with us getting all these bales sold actually managed to get these at slightly different heights which might work for what we've got to do at the back here so uh, let's just bring this in line it up and this is where loading the front of the trailer first is going to pay off because it now put a fair amount of weight on the back. And as a result, we need to make sure that the whole back of the trailer doesn't tip. You can see the whole trailer moving because us putting pressure on the back is making it tip. All right, let's strap these down. Have a strap right at the back, but that should do it. And then, yeah, I think we can fit four bales on this at the front as well. We can definitely fit two. And we've got five bales left. Managed to restack it a little bit at this end. It's now working so much better. And yeah, it does just tell me that the way to do it going forward is to uh, stack from the front uh, towards the back. We'll get a bit of space at the back. Uh, that uh, two will fit on and then uh, we are sorted uh, we do have one extra bale left on the field and I don't know, it might fit on the front it might not uh, I don't think there's a lot of leverage there I think it might just roll off if I do that uh, so oh I know where we can put it we can put it towards the back there's a bit of gap in the middle there that should work quite well so let's put this on here back that off we can now get that strapped down and yeah i think we can get it on this point here and i've got the bale nice and high on the spikes so we can clearly see things and on and in the middle i think we're going to back off a little bit and extend out the arm up a bit yep i think that is pretty good let's back that off then that will sit in the middle at the top there i'll be in the middle oh it's not bad at all i'll take that and that should also help the stability of those back two as well uh so now that we have this all loaded up and we have this field cleared uh we're actually gonna leave these on here these bales won't sell for their best price until january we have no use for this trailer uh until then so uh we will just hook things up and uh and get this parked up in the yard ready for when a our tractors are fully repaired and b uh we're gonna get the best price although we only have seven thousand pound left uh, repairs to our equipment might be a little bit of a problem. 
So uh, we need to make sure that we have enough money kicking around to do that. Uh, for now, though, uh, let's part this over here at the side. And uh, then we can take full advantage of our amount of money we'll get for it uh, later. And yes, I know this is where I normally put my boxes. Um, but uh, we can always move it somewhere else that fits better later. For now, I'm going to leave this here. So all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. Special thanks to all my patrons and channel members. Your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow. For more from Virtual Farmer, check out the links below. Follow on Twitch to watch live. And for more videos, subscribe and ring that bell. I will see you next time. Goodbye.